All right, gentlemen, this is a mediation. We are here negotiating a healthy middle ground between Virtue Matthew and Vice Matthew. First up, diet. We've offered a range of options that we're comfortable with. I, I've created a spreadsheet, which will help with menu planning, grocery shopping, portion control. My client would like to state for the record that it's bad for his mental health if every single meal feels like a chore. Spreadsheets and fad diets do feel like work, and before long, you will want to quit. I am ruling no diets necessary with three caveats, protein at every meal, snack on produce more than processed packaged crap, and no food after 9 p.m. Agreed? Yeah, sure. There's lots of different kinds of salads. <laughs> Next on the docket, exercise. Vice Matthew, it says here your preferred method of exercise is, quote, grab an ass and bar crawls. Okay, we're gonna get serious here for a minute. We're gonna ask for yoga at a minimum. We're also seeking at least partial custody of a cardio regimen. Oh, come on, cardio? I don't own clothes like that. I am ruling a mandatory four minimum sweats, good ones, a week. Fine. Yeah, fine. I'll walk to the bar. Speaking of which, we need to discuss drinking and sugar. Don't you dare touch my booze. I'm not, that's not what this is about. Control your client. What my client means to say is that we are not interested in relinquishing regular visitation rights with our favorite bar. I like booze. You know I like booze. Can you help me with him? Well, citing case precedent from Bagels v. Bourbon, the Court of Caloric Intake has made it abundantly clear that one muffin equals two martinis, one scoop of ice cream equals two IPAs, to me, the most reasonable thing to do at every meal is clear. Pick one. Yeah, drinks, obviously. Great, settle it. It's great. This is great. I had a good time. I think we're better friends. Shut up, nerd.